Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TKP Electronics. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. So today I have got for a pair Polycom uh, HDX 7000. This is a video conferencing machine. So the problem, the issue in this machine is it's not getting power on. So this, when we press this one, it's not getting power on. So we apply voltage first. We'll connect the power first we will check so I have already disconnected the power so to dismantle to open the top cover we will open this three screw first one two three this th three screw will open first so friends I have already unscrew this one this three so now what we have to do now just pull this this will come out just pull this See guys, it is like this. So it's like this. So now we will check. So this is the power supply section SMPS. So what we will do, we will dis dismantle it out. We will take it out from this because the power supply is not working in this. So we will try to repair the SMPS of this in power supply. This is the DC power supply will repair this one the output of this power supply is plus 3.3 volt plus 5 volt and 12 volt so we'll check this this is the power line so guys now we'll check separately this one now we will keep this aside so guys this is very heavy power supply see this so guys now we will remove this cover there are 4 screws 1 2 3 4 so we'll remove this on this cover will come out and we'll check inside we need to check we need to check inside inside of this one so we'll remove this four screw first then we'll dismantle out so guys i already removed this four screws so we'll check it out see this is the internal structure of smps see this is very compact they did and from this only we are getting 3.3 volt plus minus 12 volt and 5 volt dc so now we'll check very easily but very compact it is so it's quite a little bit hard to check each component anyway we'll check it out so guys now we'll check the ohms of the resistance each parts and there is a fuse over here see this is the fuse inside it uh, brown color and you will check it out step by step uh, this is the incoming line here is the rectifier so here is the fil main filter capacitor this is so we will check step by step and this is the PWD IC so guys now we will check step by step so guys I kept on the buzzer range ok this is the incoming here is the fuse first of all the fuse is gone my friend see but there should be some reason behind blown off fuse so we will trace out why the fuse blown off this is the main things to find it out why the fuse is blown off because the fuse will blown off when there is a short circuit in the SMPS circuit then only the fuse will blow off first for the safety purpose so now we will check everything another point is another line is neutral it is coming directly to the it is ok so only the fuse is gone why the fuse is gone anyway we will check the um, rectifier everything over here is there any shorting or there is no shorting in the rectifier see guys there is no shorting in the rectifier circuit even in the uh, diode is there it is also not gone see is the diode also good so now 
here is the main rectif uh, fil main filter rectifier this is the negative this is a positive this is a positive so no is no shorting nothing see so guys no shorting nothing so now it's coming to the pwd ic this is the pw d pulse width modulation ic so this is the one now we'll check here some diodes are also there we'll check in a diode or something like this nothing no shorting i kept on the buzzer range here also diode is there there is no shorting here also one diode no 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 i'll check this ic also this is the negative point of the capacitor so i'll just check this is the negative point this pin is grounded already i think this is shorted with the body only it's okay this pin is okay also so now this ic will check there is one more diode over here this is no it's not shorted also so now guys we'll check the this is the 16 pin ic this is the negative this is the main negative point of capacitor we'll check 1 2 3 4 5 6 pin number 6 is grounded for this pulse width modulation ic this one so we'll check any any pin is shorted with the ground no 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 this is already grounded because of this pin see guys this pin should not show with the this pin number 15 it should not show any ohms with the ground with the negative point of this ic so this is going where we'll check here this pf no 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 see guys this pf see this pf so we'll take it out the pf and check okay guys just keep watching my video so we'll remove this pf my friend see i removed the pf now we'll check no no shorting see now we'll check the pf so pf is gone so guys pf is shorted but why the pf also shorted anyway we'll replace what we'll do we'll replace this pf and we'll replace the fuse with the new one this fuse with the new one and will because except this now no, not showing any shorting over any anywhere okay guys so now we'll replace these two things with the new one and we'll check so i will remove the fuse also see guys i have already removed the fuse this is the the value of the fuse is 3.15 ampere so we'll check the fuse it's open so we'll replace fuse and pf with new one so guys i have one uh, another fuse with me this is the old one this is the old one i got another fuse with me it's 3.15 ampere i will replace this fuse it's a box type fuse this fuse open and i have one small pf i removed from the old pcb actually i don't have the new one and i just uh, uh, removed from the old pcb its value is 10 mf so anyway we'll put it this one so there is no shorting in this so we'll change this with so first we'll put the pf
Okay, guys. Be careful while soldering. So I fix now PF. Now I will put fuse also. So guys, now we will check any buzzer, something, any shorting with the main terminal, negative terminal of this main capacitor. Only one point. This is grounded. I mean, so there is no shorting now. It's okay. So now I will replace fuse also. So guys, we will put the fuse. I am putting this one. It's very congested to put the fuse. So what we will do? We will use the tweezer to put fuse. So we will fix the fuse. So now we will apply power. So fuse is good now. Ok guys. So guys now we will connect this power. I connected the power now we'll check voltages I'll put it on now so guys it's first we'll check AC power is the incoming line see guys AC is coming so here is the DC so we will check on the DC range see guys 389 now we will check on the output this is the output voltages Old point see guys 12 volt coming here 4.4 volt so here this is the main high ampere output here it will not come unless we connect it to the system so guys anyway switching on voltage is coming it's okay so now we'll connect back this power supply to the system okay, so now i will fix this back We'll fix all the screws and connector back everything then we'll put it on so friends i have already connected back everything connector down side up and be careful now we'll put it on <coughs> we'll check now put it on we'll connect the power so guys we'll put it on now it's on it's on guys now see so guys working so power supply was the problem so we have already repeat power supply it's on now see it's on before it was not getting on so guys so we sorted the problem with the power supply so guys Thank you very much for watching my video, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel and take care, bye bye, see you.